Here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for, the actual question to the assessment task. This is it here. We are political by nature. It is how composers represent people as political beings that shapes our response to political situations. And the question is, evaluate this statement with reference to your set text, Brave New World, and one related text of your own choosing. Okay, so what I'd like you to do from here is stop and highlight the keywords uh, of the question and just define what they mean. See if you can uh, write the question in your own words and, and come up with a thesis, um, and just a, a simple statement of what you might do. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, now we've done that, we can have a look at um, other aspects. So here, here we go, let's look at my breakdown of the, the task. So first of all, we've got this uh, opening sentence, we are political by nature. Okay, and what this allows you to do is it allows you to act as an umbrella statement. You can come up with a, a thesis of, of your own and basically what you want to do is talk about people and politics in the general sense. This allows you to do that um, in the broad sense uh, and you can use that as an umbrella statement to, to frame your thesis. So don't talk about Brave New World or your related text at this stage. Talk about the interplay between people and politics. And any of those statements where we've said that there's there's a tension, um, you know, it's natural for there to be uh, a, a reaction to, to po the politics of the day and all those sort of things. Or, you know, look at those bubble words that we have that um, surround freedom and in individuality and conformity and all those sort of things. Come up with some sort of uh, nice statement to, to frame your argument. So I've written here that because as human beings, because of our complex relationships, we're drawn into politics, um, and and you know, and and that's quite common across any society um, in the world today or throughout our history. But we can also make the observation, if we like, that you know, um, while we are all political beings, we might not actually participate because of the comfort of our existence. So if we're quite happy and travelling along nicely. And there's no conflict um, in our world, then we might not actively participate in, in the in the um, politics. So anyway, we're going to use that as um, a, a way of making a, a broader statement. Now the next part of the question says, or well, the task is, it is how composers represent people as political beings that shapes our response to political situations. So here we go. We've got the word, the big word, represent here. So it's how composers represent people as political beings. Okay, so what um, composers or authors uh, do is that they create a story and in that they represent a world um, and, and then they have characters within that where people either conform to the system or they rebel, rebel against it. Um, so that's the act of representation. Okay, so this gives you the opportunity to, to actually step into your text and talk about the world that has been set up by the composer um, to, to make a statement. And you have to look and say, well, how's that done? So in Brave New World, we know that the world he, he sets up is um, through satire and parody and, and that type of thing. So he creates a world of um, ultra consumerism and capitalism and uh, uses um, science as a means of delivering that. And he, he you know, creates a, an exaggerated example of, of his own world. Okay, the next bit says, um, you know, that you represent people as political beings that shape our response to political situations. So I've written here that through experiencing the politics of the fictional world, the text challenges the reader to reflect on their own experience or situation. Okay, so it, it means that um, that, uh, that um, the audience is being challenged by the by the uh, composer, the director, whatever, to, um, to to engage with the politics evident in the text and then reflect on their own experience. Okay, and we know that um, a lot of the, or the generally the text like Brave New World are written as a response or a reaction to the world that they live in. Okay, and I've written here too that <clears throat> composers like um, authors or directors, they fashion us to be political beings. So they position the reader or the viewer to um, actively engage in politics. Okay? And maybe that's part of their purpose. 
Okay. Now I've also highlighted this our response to say that you can talk about it as your own personal response. That's totally fine. And but it also um, implies the the audience of the time. So um, how how audiences respond to um, the ideas in the text. The next part of the the, um, the question is this: evaluate this statement with reference to your set text, Brave New World, and one related text of your own choosing. So down here, I've said basically we need to have a balance, um, a balanced treatment. So you don't, it doesn't have to be exactly 50-50, but um, you want to have uh, the, the situation where um, both your core text, Brave New World, and your related text are dealt with in depth. So you can't just sort of uh, have a light treatment of of um, your related uh, your yeah your related text. You need to get in and deconstruct it and and um, have some good analysis in there. Uh, you've got to make the the context clear that type of thing. Okay, so the word evaluate here means to make a judgment. That's the um, definition that that we'll run with. And basically, it's asking well, do you agree with this statement? Um, that we are political by nature and, the, and, and then the representation moment. And what you're going to do is um, you're going to be making a statement about the fact that <clears throat> as a reader or a viewer, you're responding to the ideas presented um, as a reflection of the composer's context. Okay, so, um, you know, that's, that's the, um, the, the main idea, isn't it, that the, the composer's written... Uh, and publish this text, and that um, you're being positioned by them to to um, think about the world. And I suppose you'd say that you've been challenged to, to actively engage in the politics that's evident in the text, and ref, ref, see how that is a reflection of their context. But you can also apply it to your own context and look at how you respond to that. And that could be done through personalised statements, or you might be talking about. Um, you know, humanity in general, in general, rather than um, specific to like the 1930s. Okay, so um, I think that really sets up a clear understanding of of um, what the question is asking um, you to do, in the sense of that's how it's defined. And it would be totally fine for you to come up with a thesis statement that pretty much says um, composers create text or the purpose of um, uh, people writing stories or creating fictional stories is to either awaken or challenge the the audience to consider their own position in in a political system okay so i mean come back to it's really about the purpose what is the purpose of of the text in relation to um, getting um, audiences to consider or um, to engage with the political worlds and reflect on their own existence. So I've written down here the big rule of three. So we've got three things that we have to include in our um, in our essay, essentially. The first is this idea of representation. So that's the big idea that what what um, the the main ideas of the the story are, um, and obviously that ties in with the purpose of the composer. So what is this? Um, is it a warning to society? Are they being challenged? You know, what is it that um, the the uh, composer is um, expecting from the from the reader or viewer? You need to talk about the context of um, the text. You know, the era in which it was written. And I've written down here. You know, you want to have three to four precise statements across. Um, your whole essay, and it might be that um, you know I've said there roughly two per text, and that might be that you you make um, a, you know you can do it two ways. You can do it where early on in the first body paragraph of Brave New World, you can you can make a statement about um, you know that Huxley was responding to. Um, what he was seeing in Europe, and you might talk about the rise of the, the extremist political parties, and then later in the body paragraph, or you might do it in your blended, you might make um, uh, another statement about um, context. So you can do it that way and have two um, discrete but short sentences, or I think you can um, you can uh, do it all in one sentence. As, as I've seen and as we've sort of discussed in class where you talk about two things that he's reacting to and they have to be 
you know, a, a little bit different. So it might be something um, about politics and then it might be about the social side of, um, of um, the society of the 1920s, something like that. Anyway, so we've got representation, we've got context, and we've got form. You have to really make clear how um, the form of the novel or a film or a poem or whatever it is, um, or another novel, how that um, is used to, to shape and construct that meaning. So we know in Brave New World, you can look at the idea of the genre of sci-fi and the use of satire um, and um, characterization and conflict and themes and um, the scientific jargon. Um, there's a whole range of things that you can do. And you just have to uh, do the same for your related texts. And that's not new to you, okay? Um, so really, you've got to make sure that you're covering those aspects of, of um, the, um, the module. And I think for this question, look at it, it's really, I think the key idea is probably, the key focus would be this idea of representation. Um, you know, that it's probably this that, that's going to be at the forefront of your argument. And then these again are support. So sometimes the question's about form. So you would bring that to the front of your argument and the other two would would um, would be there, but but you'd be focused on form and sometimes it's context. But in this, really, where we've made it really straightforward, you're talking about the purpose of the composer, how they've represented a world, how it is that they're positioning the reader to um, respond to the ideas that they're presenting. Okay, and you're going to you're going to illustrate that by by using um, context and form. So just remember that when you do create your thesis, that you want a simple statement, a nice short statement. Um, and you want it to be really straightforward, nothing too convoluted. You want it, you want, um, you want it just to, to be something that you can come back to all the time um, without, without you know, being too complex. So keep it simple is um, my best advice for you.